Today's video is going to be all about my mobile studio setup and what I'm bringing with me on this month trip to Europe to make the rest of this album. So this is my mobile studio setup. <laughs> Tell me how appropriate this video is. Peter McKinnon showing his travel bag while I'm about to show my travel accessories. <sighs> YouTubers. So if you are anything like me, you are a musician, a singer, songwriter, producer, any of those things in that aspect who has to travel a lot, whether it be for work, you're shooting videos, you're doing work for other people, your job requires you to travel a lot. And so I have always had the need to have a mobile studio setup. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my current mobile studio setup because I did kind of buy some new equipment to kind of help facilitate making music on the go. So what I try to pay attention to is when I'm traveling, I want want to kind of gauge, first of all, am I going to be recording, making music, producing, am I going to be doing both? And then based on that, I'll decide what kind of equipment I need to bring. So in this case, I don't know what I'm going to be doing because I'm just going to be inspired by whatever happens. So I'm bringing everything with me. You want to start with your computer, obviously. This is the most important thing. You guys already know that I use a MacBook Pro. This is the brand new MacBook Pro from 2018. The 15 inch version MacBook Pro, which is the 2.2 gigahertz i7 processor. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, the graphics card and all that good stuff. Uh, but this is a six core MacBook. So it's got a lot of good processing for video editing as well as music production. So the 2018 MacBook Pro is what I'm using to produce all my music on. That is the most important thing. So, you know. So for all the producers out there, the next most important thing that you are going to need when you are on the road producing is going to be some type of hardware that allows you to play your instruments, your drum patterns, your all anything like that. Usually I use a machine Mark III. This is what I like to produce and use to operate the machine software and do my drum programming and everything here. Um, I was going to get the machine Micro Mark III which would have been perfect for travel, but uh, I'm not gonna spend $250 just to bring that on the road with me. But what I did get is this brand new toy right here. This is the Complete Control M32. It's like a mini keyboard. You see the keys are not the normal size of a, you know, a normal sized uh, keyboard or piano, but that helps make it so good for travel. So I wanted, I know I have the A25, but this thing is even smaller and it is able to actually fit into the backpack that I'm going to be bringing with me, which is, super important trying to stay as mobile as possible and also trying to cut down on my fees at the airport i don't have to pay for you know check baggage trying to bring a keyboard with me i can just put this in my bag not only can i operate the so the machine software knobs and all this stuff with here i can select sounds here browse the sounds you know here and everything and i can actually play with you know the keys obviously but also i can operate the machine software because it's got the play button the record button the stop tempo quantize everything that you're going to see almost everything that you're going to see on a machine you will see on here so this thing is going to be a lifesaver for me um i don't have to pay the 200 300 for a machine micro or try and find a way to fit this into my bag just bring this one thing and it makes my bag a lot less heavy. So the Complete Control M32, uh, this keyboard is one that I had to buy from eBay because Native Instruments, for whatever reason, I just keep getting shunned by these guys. <laughs> Everybody was getting sent this keyboard everybody on youtube and i was not i was shunned so i had and i couldn't get it in the stores there's no stores around me that have this keyboard guitar center didn't have this keyboard they said they weren't going to get it until june there's no stores here in san diego that have it so i had to literally order this used off of ebay for like 100 bucks so i didn't even get the software that came with it but it does come with the machine software um and a few different other perks so Highly recommend this for even musicians in your home studio. This is really good, especially for beginners. Great for travel. So you guys will see this in a lot of my, my videos in the travel. The next most important thing I will say, not necessarily for producers, but for singers and songwriters, you can use one of these. <laughs> and what is this? This is actually just my microphone. I basically packed it into like this Wilson tennis thing for you know more protection. 
and I wrapped it up so that it's not you know bouncing around and everything but this is my blue microphones bluebird this is not the SL this is the one before the SL but really great microphone for beginners for intermediate people for advanced people this microphone has worked wonders for me it's very inexpensive I would say for the quality that it gives you um, I love this microphone very much and um, I'm looking forward to seeing if I even use this on the road it all, it all depends on whether or not you know I'm feeling the need to record a brand new song while I'm out there because most of my songs are already finished I'm bringing this just in case I, I get inspired or I meet somebody out there record a song with me I don't know what's gonna happen man but I'm very excited. Some of Blue's, some of Blue's um, other microphones, like the more premium microphones, actually come with carrying cases, like these wooden boxes and things. But those are very expensive. Uh, I think you might be able to buy some boxes for these other microphones. You know, you could just pack it in like this, and it'll work just fine. Also, Blue does make a very cheap uh, microphone that I saw. It's about ninety-nine dollars. That's a lot thinner and skinnier than this one but I think it, it is a, a condenser microphone. So if you want something a little bit smaller, just to kind of get your ideas down at least, but better quality ideas instead of trying to use your phone microphone or your headphones or whatever, Blue does make a couple of different options for you to basically purchase those things and not have to break the bank, but still get great quality recordings while you're on the go. The second most important thing that songwriters are going to need, especially if you're using a condenser microphone, is going to be an audio interface. Some producers may need this as well if you're recording like your own instruments, guitars or something like that, but I don't really see why you would bring a guitar with you if you're bringing a keyboard that you can use a VST, if this is all just for on the go. But an audio interface that I use right now, this is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. I actually have the first generation. I didn't realized that until a couple of weeks ago but they do make obviously the, this the second generation and there are also some other audio interfaces that you can use um, but right now for me I'm just using the tried and true focus right Scarlet Solo the great thing about this is it's very durable it's made out of metal so this thing can take quite a beating I would say um, which is going to be really good for for if you're you know throwing your bag around not throwing your bag around but <laughs> you're you know you never know what's going to happen so it's, it's very durable it's not going to break you know and I, I feel really comfortable carrying this thing around with me to and to trust it to to track down my ideas so you can record uh, with the microphone the XLR here it's got phantom power and you can also record your uh, instrumentation via the quarter inch right here so really great uh, audio interface very trusted now these next two things are going to be important for both producers and singer songwriters slash people that are recording their songs or whatever it may be you want to have something that can store all your videos your photos your music your ideas your your sessions everything that you record and you want it to be protected I recently just got another uh, Lacey two terabyte rugged hard drive in addition to the one terabyte hard drive that I've already had for a while you guys have seen me talk about this one but I just recently got the two terabyte USB-C versions but the reason that these hard drives are very good over something like the Seagate four terabyte hard drives is uh, even though these have a lot more um, capacity is four terabytes for like 80 bucks and this is like hundred and twenty eight dollars I paid for this for two terabytes so you it's almost twice the price for twice as less of the space but you're paying for the protection so it's got this little rubber thing around here just in case if you drop this it gets dropped anywhere uh, if water splashes on it or dust splashes on it or whatever it may be this thing is going to be a little bit more protected than an exposed regular normal external hard drive if you drop one of those with all the moving parts that are in these hard drives you're going to hate yourself in the morning because it actually happened to me I dropped one of those maybe like this was the distance I dropped it and lost everything the hard drive does not work anymore so I got two of these to basically store all my song ideas, my sessions, my beats, my music, my videos, everything that I record. It's also good for keeping a, a record or a files of all your stuff, extra files that are not just on your computer because worse come to worse, if your laptop or whatever it may be might disappear or something happens to it for whatever reason, at least you still have your livelihood on one of these things and you can just get a new MacBook and then offload your stuff. So these are very good, splash proof, dust proof, drop, not drop proof, but you know, it can, it's shock proof and um, very, very, very 
important, I would say, for traveling, musicians, producers, things like that. The item next up that I'm gonna talk about is one that I talk about regularly on this channel. I do a lot of videos with this about mobile production, but it's going to be your phone. These things, all of them have some kind of music production app on them, whether it be FL Studio, GarageBand, iMachine, BandLab, you know, all these different tools and tips and tricks and things like that that you can use to produce music from your phone to get down some ideas. Of course, you're gonna bring your phone with you, but I'm just saying this is one of the things that I bring with me. So I have the iPhone XS Max, which I use to produce uh on mobile uh in garage band so i also check my ideas in here get my song ideas you know recorded but i also like produce my beats on here just in case if i want to make something in garage band and then transfer it to my macbook i can do that but if you're using like a samsung or any kind of android phone you can use band lab i don't know really how that program works but any kind of phone that has good processing power is going to be great for mobile production so that that's what i use here now in addition to the phone you want to have something that's going to allow it to have power <laughs> because if you're producing from your phone all the time or you're traveling and you, you can't quite get to an outlet all the time then you're going to need a power bank i have this pocket juice power bank that i got a while ago from best buy it can charge my iphone four times before it dies four times from zero before it dies which is really dope so i recommend and it can also charge two devices at once but yeah get you get yourself a, a nice legitimate power bank because some of these like amazon random companies they say it's going to be a like twenty thousand milliamps but then when you get it you open it up it's actually two thousand uh, so get like a legit brand. It's gonna make all the difference even if you have to pay a little bit more. But lastly, I'm gonna talk about where I actually pack all this stuff. So you can get whatever bag you want. They actually make some good uh, travel bags for musicians, particularly DJs, people with keyboards, things like that. But I personally use a bag called the Timbuk2. I've been using this for about two, three years. I think I've been using it for three years. I don't even think it's made for musicians, but I made it work for musicians because it has so many compartments and things like that a good perk about this bag is when you're in the airport a lot of the time when i pack my machine in here i have to take it out because it's a large electronic so instead of having to try and dig in here and all this stuff i can just open it up like this reach in and then pull it out boom it's right there it's easy access so that's why i like this bag so much also it has a 15 inch uh or i think even a 17 inch could fit in here but this is a very large sleeve for a macbook ipad whatever you want to bring with you in the main compartment it's got a whole bunch of zipper and things in here but this is where i like to put my, my audio interface because there's a, a pouch right here my two rugged hard drives so that they don't move around too much i put all my uh solid state hard drives in here which is another thing that you guys need to buy uh, batteries and things like that here just a lot of compartments in there and then here's where i put you know things like this which actually fits perfectly in here so my keyboard fits in there I just zip it close boom perfect my machine also fits in here which is perfect uh, so this is a really good backpack for musicians if you don't want something as big you can use something like this so this is a very simple very clean cut backpack it's got a lot of compartments as well but it's a lot more clean cut I would say than the Timbuk2 it looks like one of those futuristic like uh, Hunger Games monotone type bags, which I'm really a big fan of. I love monotone type things. Look at this, really clean, Brody. And it smells like brand new shoes. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> so the cool thing about this bag is it does also fit a 15 inch MacBook or 15 inch laptop of any any kind. Boom, just like that, it's nice and, and sturdy, held in there. And something like here, you can fit your machine micro, um, a, any kind of smaller electronics music basically i would say this is more meant for a minimalistic type approach like if you don't if you're not bringing an interface a microphone a machine drum pads blah blah, blah. if you're just bringing like one or two things this is a great simple choice for you it's going to be a lot more lighter but also one of my favorite features about this bag is going to be this right here as you guys can see it has like one of these little holes and that's actually where you can charge your phone. You get your power bank, plug that in. You get your phone, plug that in, and you plug it into this little section right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And it'll basically charge your phone, if you guys can see that, which is dope. So it's kind of like having one of those smart bags without paying a smart bag price. This is all the stuff that I use that I'm going to be bringing with me on my trip, and hopefully it's going to be enough. 
for my trip i hope so i'm packing extremely light so i'm i'm ready to go guys and i, I thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions leave a comment down below subscribe if you're not already subscribed turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time i upload a brand new video and be looking out for the next episode of the traveling musician where i'm actually traveling and not in my room talking about the equipment that i travel with as always stay legendary and i'll see you in the next one peace